Good morning, everyone. My name is also Barbara. Um, um, I'm going to speak on the diasporic connection with uh, churchism. There's too much mediocrity in this country. Too much. You've got to excel because excellence reaps rewards. This is Shirley Chisholm's response to an interviewer who asked her, how would one help young people counter the negative images in their surroundings and media? That is the spirit that emanated from Shirley Chisholm just about all of her life. So today we are celebrating her excellence in American-based politics, but what of her international politics? Particularly for Haiti, the first black republic in the world, earned by the slaves of Atlanta. Shirley Chisholm was well aware of the precarious nature of the image of Haiti, especially to first world nations. The US deliberately marginalized Haitian refugees who were simply trying to escape Jean-Claude Duvalier's dictatorship in 1970s Haiti. De deportation faced many. Shirley Chisholm was having none of it. So here's an excerpt from her 1979 statement to the Department of Justice. The caucus must stand firm in its insistence that United States human rights and refugee policy be administered on an even-handed basis so that no government activity or decision may be viewed as tainted with race, class, or ideological prejudice. However, our information reveals that these minimum standards of fairness and decency have been violated repeatedly by the Department of Justice in instances of Haitians seeking political refuge in the United States. So her solutions were simple. Where the poor or rich, we all have political rights. As such, Chisholm called for minimum due process for Haitian refugees. The caucus, the caucus as communicated by Chisholm, called attention to the economic and social variants that portrayed the Haitian refugees as insolent, as well as the cross-cultural ties between Haitian and American government that kept Haitian refugees disenfranchised. That's the courage and spirit that was emanating from Shirley Chisholm. That's also the courage and spirit that carried African Americans from the slave box to the ballot box within a few generations, short years of emancipation. That's the courage and spirit that was also present in 1804 when Haiti defeated not one, but three European nations for its freedom. And that's the courage and spirit that exalted from Shirley Chisholm. Thank you.